Uh, thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we want to invite you uh, to the wedding of uh, one Alpert Kiprotich and Winnie Chepto. Uh, may I request that uh, we now take our seats at this point, and I want to pray and then welcome the groom to come and wait for the bride. So we'll all remain seated until the time the bride will be coming. Then we we'll ask that we we'll all stand and welcome her to her wedding. So the bride of party, the girls, set them ready now, even as we pray. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we thank you and worship you for this day. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity for us to come here to join together with Albert and Winnie as they come together in holy matrimony. And Father, we pray that God may everything we do now be to your glory. And Father, we pray that God may your presence come and be with us in this service. The Lord, as we start and as we continue and as we get to the end of it, Lord, may your presence be evident and above all that God, your presence will be present in this marriage that is being ordered today. We bless you, Lord, and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shall we now allow the groom to come? And they know he comes from uh, a place where people run, so he'll get here very quickly. <laughs> Amen. Welcome, Albert, to your wedding. Pengine mkimpikia makofi atatembea haraka kidogo hivi. Hivi tu. Yaani amweze kupika makofi.
Hallelujah. Let's appreciate him. Let's appreciate. Uh, 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 I know you have masks, but yeah, yeah, let's appreciate the groom, right? Amen. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm expecting the girls to be ready. Matron, I can't see the girls in their position. Okay, we're good. Please just take them right here. Just come in. Just come in. Start here. Let them take their position here where the groom was kindly, quickly. Then they can on the aisle. Right. Let's appreciate the, the Praetor team as they come. Amen. 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 Right, we are good to go now. Uh, it's now my time to welcome the Praetor procession. Right. Remain seated until the bride steps in the door, then I'll allow you to stand. Let's come. May we now arise. Let's all arise. It's Oh, behold the pride. Welcome, Winnie. Kindly, let's not obstruct the aisle. Those of you with the phones, kindly, let's not obstruct the aisles. Just kindly keep clearance. Tafadali.
Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, before me, I have one gentleman, very fine gentleman, Albert Kiprotich Kirui. And uh, the ever smiling Winnie Chepto Rob. As we stand here today, we want to appreciate that if it were not for God, we would not be in this place. And so that's why we want to invite you to a moment, a moment of worship, just to praise the Lord and say, thank you, Lord, for what you have done. And therefore, I want to invite all of us to join in this great moment. And perhaps before we do so, allow me to make this usual announcement I make in every wedding. Shall I proceed? This is a wedding. <laughs> this is? A wedding. I, I didn't hear what I said. This is? Sasa kama wu mekuja harusi ya Albert. Na umekucha harusi ya wini. Na umekapa umekasirika ni kama ulilazimisho kukuja. Kwani ulikuja nini? So please, na unajua kamera zinapita. Zinapita, zinapita. Sasa utapatikana ukiwa umekasirika kwa harusi ya mwenyewe. Tafadhali usiharibu harusi ya wini na Albert. Hata kama ulikuwa unataka Albert na akaona wini. Now somehow you are here, just pretend that you are happy. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> it's a happy moment. Worship team, allow us just to worship the Lord. And come on, I also want to see you smiling. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's go. <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, Kanisa. Harusi tunayo hatunayo. I am Zaniambia Vizuri. Harusi tunayo hatunayo. Amen. And now we want to give thanks to the Lord because this is a big day. Amen. Eh? You know this is our youth pastor, so you can imagine what you are feeling in our hearts. Nisherehe, eh? nifuraha, and we have so much thanks that this day has come to be. Amen. Are you ready to dance for the Lord and sing to him and tell him thank you? Yes. Amen. All right. Hey, twende kazi bana. Bandi yangu. Mm, twende kazi. Ina ina charge up. Ina charge up. Charge up haraka bana. Msicheleweshe pastor anataka kuoa. Eh, ama niendelee. Ama niendelee na harusi. Bas, haya. Msicheleweshe pastor bana anataka kupata bibi. Eh, hallelujah. Amen. We are okay, we are okay. Just re, just celebrate and just worship the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Haya makofi kwa Yesu. Wapishangwe na vigale gale kwa Yesu. Moyo wangu sifu bwana, sifu bwana. Shanga 
Yes, Lord, just worship you. Just go ahead and just worship him and just give him praise. Just give him glory. Just adore him. He is the Lord that is house all our worship. He is the Lord that is house to be glorified. Come on, just worship the Lord. Say, yes, Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory and honor. We adore your Lord, our God. Hallelujah. Church, let's just worship the Lord and just give him praise and glory. He is our God who gives us life, gives us opportunities like this. Just to worship him and even celebrate what he does in our lives. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory and honor. We praise your God for such a day like this that God you have set aside for your servants to come, O oh God, on this altar. We thank you, Father, for their families that God have come all the way just to support them and be together with them. We thank you, Lord, for every friend that has come, even to celebrate this great occasion together with these dear ones. And Father, Lord, as we sit in your presence, we pray that God, may your presence, Lord, be with us. And Heavenly Father, may your power be manifest in our lives, even this day, this hour, and this moment. We bless you, Lord, and we honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Now I want you to do, I know you can do better than that. I know you want to clap. Oh, let's give a shout of praise to our God and say hallelujah. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You may now be seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank you, worship team. Thank you, worship team. Let's appreciate our worship team for a wonderful work. Na kunitetemesha hapa wamenitetemesha kweli. Lakini nime survive. Bwana asifiwe sana. Um today we are here for the wedding of these two this gentleman Albert and this lady Winnie. And I told her today we will call her woman. <laughs> I know ladies don't like be called women, but today <laughs> we call her woman. Now, standing before you is the groom, Albert Kiprotich, and the bride, Winnie Chipto, and their best couple, Pastor George. And uh, officiating today is Reverend Robin Mulunda, the senior pastor at Sitam Embakasi. Uh, for the purposes of this wedding in the Republic of Kenya, if the five of us were present, and none of, even if none of you was here, we'll still proceed with the wedding. Lakini, hainge toa picha mzuri. Ata wangefikria alba tuliba chepto. So, before we proceed, allow me at this point to appreciate each and every one of you that has come to stand together with this couple. May I appreciate Alpert's parents, kindly you can stand. Alpert's parents, kindly stand. Let's appreciate them. Let's appreciate them. Thank you so much for coming. God bless you. You may be seated. Let's appreciate uh, Winnie's parents and grandparents here. Kindly just stand. Let's appreciate them. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you so much. God bless you. You may be seated. 
allow me also at this point to appreciate the senior pastor of Sitam Woodley, who is also the deputy regional officer Northern Region, Reverend Juliet Mahuk, who is here. Kindly, Diaro, welcome. Amen. Welcome to your church. And allow me also to appreciate all Sitam pastors who have come to stand together with the Pastor Albert. I saw quite a many of you right here. Let's stand. Let's appreciate. Yeah. There are many pastors all over the place. And we have other pastors who have come from Kapsabet, from Kericho. Kindly also just stand. Let's appreciate Pastor Ronald there. And uh, yes, Pastor there. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a wonderful time just to come and celebrate together uh, with uh, Pastor Albert. God bless you. And uh, yes, so I... Allow me, these ones will just stand with me. Uh, don't feel like they will get tired. They won't get tired, Mama. Eh? Coco? Miss Jenna go to Sawa. Yeah, as Mama too. Najua at as Zingine. Our Jamawa Kikutananga, Uko Inje. At a bad Kukula chips. Wakisha Maliza Wakienda stage. Kusindi Kizana. When I say, Mama, Gary, Ingine Nayenda, Ingine Nayenda, Ingine Nayenda. Bado wanafanya us bye bye. Sasa when I say, Mama, Manga, Mazamengi. Sasa to seek your roots, Waksimama, Kuna Shita. Now, how are we now? I was a Katie Kosavo, Mikucha Kusimamia Rus. I was a Kusimamia Rus, Kama, Meketi. So, just in case you're wondering why they must stand, Kosavo, Mikucha Kusimamia. Allow me to read the word of God this, um, this morning, and I will share a few thoughts here, and then I'll join you. Um, Pastor Albert, the message is long. Chapter, the sermon is long, but take heart, I don't have to say it all here. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Amen. So I'll keep it short. 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Oh, just before we proceed, just in case ukiwa mgeni hapa na ungepata, ungetaka kuenda kuchisaidia, if you go out behind there, the ushers will show you the washrooms are on the building just behind this tent. And utasaidika pale. Asanteni. 1 Corinthians chapter 7. I will read a few verses. And the Bible says, now, for the matters you wrote about, it is good for a man not to marry. <laughs> These people are almost collapsing here. I thought you have read the Bible. Why are you getting shocked? Yes, it's written. This is what the word of the Lord says. It's good for a man not to marry. Hmm. But, verse 2 says, but, hallelujah. Breathe easy now. Yes, but, <laughs> but since sexual immorality is occurring, each man should have sexual relations with his own wife and each woman with her own husband. In other words, it's saying, you should marry your own. Yes, you're happy now? Hallelujah. <laughs> Verse 3 says, the husband should fulfill his marital duty to his wife, and likewise the wife to her husband. Verse 4, the wife does not have authority over her own body, but yields it to her husband. In the same way, the husband does not have authority over his own body, but yields it to his wife. Verse 5, and this is very important, Albert, and we need to listen to this, because this is where the elephant comes in marriage. Do, no, do not, do not deprive one another. Mm. Except perhaps by mutual consent and for a time, so that you may default yourselves to prayer. So prayer and fasting does not end because you have a husband and a wife. But you don't have to be fasting every day. 
That's what the Bible is saying. <laughs> so you get much of consent for prayer for some time. Okay? Then come together again so that Satan will not tempt you because of your lack of self-control. I say this as a concession, not as a command. I wish that all of you were as I am, but each of you has your own gift from God. One has this, another has that. Now to the unmarried and the widows, I say, it is good for them to stay unmarried as I do. That's Paul, not me. Me, I'm married. Hallelujah. <laughs> but if they cannot control themselves, they should marry. For it's better to marry than to burn with passion. To the married, I give this command. And very soon, in the next few minutes, Albert and Winnie, you will also be married. So listen to this command. A wife must not separate from her husband. But if she does, she must remain unmarried or else be reconciled to her husband. And her husband must not divorce his wife. That is the word of the Lord. Praise be to God. Allow me to just say three things about marriage. And this I say every time. And I remember every time when my children were young, I would go to weddings. And because at some point I was wedding people every Saturday when I was in Valley Road, I discovered that I wouldn't have any time with my children. So I began going for the, with them for weddings. And then after the wedding, I take them out for lunch. And so every time at some point, my daughter will ask me, so which passage are you reading today? <laughs> and then I'll ask her, which one do you think I, I, I need to read today? And most times she will tell me, I like when you do First Corinthians chapter 7. And for a long time, I have continued to speak about it because it's marriage. So three things I want to say about marriage. And allow me to say this, is, this message is not just for Albert and Winnie. It's for all of us. So lest you think it's only for them and you are busy Googling, please don't Google for now. Just stay tuned to what the Lord is saying to us this morning. Hallelujah. Marriage. Three things. Marriage is a choice. Marriage is a choice. No one forces you to marry. I know Albert Mekwa na uliso maswali. Na our aunties wako up. Kwa uliza maswali kwa muda. Hey, sasa Albert miaka inaenda. Oh, nini, nini, miaka inaenda. Lakini mungu wa kuulizi swali. Winnie, I'm sure, you know, Winnie, sasa umemaliza shule, umepata kasi, sasa mzea na kuja lini, umeulizwa yu maswali. People around us may want us to get married. But God doesn't force anyone to marry. That's why in the Bible there are even eunuchs called by God. <laughs> and eunuchs who have chosen to become eunuchs. And that's why even Paul says, eh, if you had a choice of staying unmarried, that's okay. <laughs> right? So what that means, when you come in marriage, you are actually making a decision by yourself. You are making a choice by yourself that you want to get married. And so, if this marriage doesn't work, the first person to be blamed is you. <laughs> yeah, it's you who has chosen to get married. Albert, I know for real, Winnie was not the first lady you saw. There were many ladies passing by. They are passing a message to you. <laughs> right? But out of all those women that you saw in your life, today, you are declaring that out of all these women, you are choosing Jephthah. Ama wazazi nyindi mulichakulia huyu kijana, huyu msijana. Afana? Sema tu kweli. Mbele ya mungu wakuna, 
ni yeye mwenyewe na akamleta nyumbani ah, unaona this is your choice wini ah, i said my daughter you always smiling with this smile i'm sure there are many men <laughs> many that had wanted you lakini box ambayo ulikubali kuingizwa ni box ya kiprotich it's your choice this is a choice and as we say in Kenya once upon a time we are told choices have consequences so because you have chosen this man receive him as he is with all his goodness and some of the bad things that you have never seen you will see them unaulizwanga asubuhi wapi socks yangu na uliacha wapi Kumbe alikuwa amekaa kwa, kwa sitting room akiangalia maniwi kichapwa 41 akakasirika akarusha socks moja ikaanguka nyuma ya sofa set wewe huku wa ulikuwa chikoni lakini sande anakuuliza wapi hii socks naona tu moja it's your choice albert You have never known women. When you get married is when you start knowing women. This girl you see. She comes with her beauty and some things not so beautiful. But that's what makes her unique. Receive her as she is. I don't know what attracted you to her. I don't know. You don't have to say. But even some of the things that attracted you to Winnie beginning today they will begin to change. Oh yeah. Winnie will change. Her shape will change at some time. Her size will change. So if it was you saw Winnie and thought yeah this one is nice i can just hold her with my hand one hand and walk around may i declare to you she will not remain this small <laughs> so with this what attracted to you you to her where i come from we say vivindu vichenjanga and abantu bosi vachenjanga she will change my son even as she changes I remind you of one song that used to be sung those old days the same days of the 70s and 80s I think with Mwanza Town Choir or Machakos Town Choir na kila mtu atabeba msiko wake mwenyewe please carry your burden <laughs> because you have chosen her Bwana asifiwe sana na nataka kusema hivi kwa kila mmoja ambaye ameoa na kuolewa. Kama ulichakuwa huyo mama kuwa bibi yako, tafadhali wacha kuangalia wengine. Beba mziko wako. Chunga mziko wako. Tunza mziko wako. Hata kwa matatu kianga ukiingia huwa nasema chunga mziko wako. Albert chunga mziko wako Marriage is a choice It's unfortunate today that people make choices and they are not ready or they are not willing to live by the choices they have made When you make a choice consciously and today Albert you come before God and before this company to declare that you have chosen Chepto May it never be hard that you are admiring another. Chipto, before God and before all these people, you are declaring that this is my choice. Stick to your choice. 
China la bwana libarikiwe. So marriage is point number one. Number two, marriage is a commitment. Can someone say commitment? Marriage is a very serious commitment. Ndiyo sababu siyo ya watu wa, wa, siyo watoto, ni ya watu wa mekoma. Because marriage is a ministry. Marriage is a journey. Marriage is an experience that you have no rehearsal for. Marriage, you come into it and no one has taught you about it. Never mind, we have taught you about premarital. <laughs> we have taken you through premarital counseling. Now marriage itself will come. The only thing that will keep you focused in marriage is when you make a commitment. Ana unasema liwe liwalo. I hold to my wife. And that's why the Bible says then beginning now your body does not belong to you alone. It also belongs to her. And your body does not just belong to you alone. It also belongs to him. That's why the Bible says a man lives and cleaves to his wife. And the two shall become one. In other words, munashikana. Munakuwa kitu kimoja. Munakuwa watu wa moja. Munakuwa watu ambao mmeshikana katika thiki, katika raha. Munashikana sawasawa munajoya kwamba sisi tumeingia katika azimio landoa. Hallelujah. Commitment. And one thing I've realized that will keep our commitment in marriage is love. Albert. Do you love Winnie? Do you love Winnie? Like really, really, you love Winnie? Okay. Winnie. <laughs> do you love this man? You do. Like you love her? Do you love him? Like really, really? Wonderful. Sasa ni wambili. Yo upendo mekwa nayo. Kwa midomo yenu, na kwa mioyo yenu, sasa muilete iwe katika kila hali ya maisha. Mukipendana, ndoa yenu itadumu. When you read that great message of love in the Bible, there are some things that says, love is patient. And Albert, if you have never learned patience, now your patience will be tested. Love is, but I love, I think, verse 3 or verse 4, that says, love suffereth long, in King James Version. <laughs> love suffereth, love perseveres, and says, love does not keep a record of wrongs. That's the only thing. Many times, and I'm sure pastors, you are a pastor, you know, and many pastors, you are here. Many times when couples come to the office for counseling, many times, it's not the issue that has brought them here that has brought them. They have a record of things they have been writing. Oh, you know, the other day, you know, five years ago, you know, we had this wedding anniversary and he forgot about it. Eh, five years ago. And you are still remembering. If you learn to love and love really, you know, God is love. And while we were yet sinners, God loved us. And the Bible says love covers a multitude of sins. Now, I'm not telling you, Winnie, that this man is a sinner. <laughs> but it's likely that this man will sin by even forgetting your birthday. <laughs> That's a terrible thing. It's a sin, actually. Albert, he should never forget her birthday. But he might forget. How shall you respond when he has forgotten? Will determine whether you continue to cleave together or you begin to part. Albert, uh, this girl doesn't look like she's a sinner. 
But sometimes she will do some things and like, eh, I can wait. Me. Sometimes even just her mood will change. Just mood. How would you take it? The way you take those little things will determine whether your marriage continues to flourish or continues to weaken. And I can tell you for sure, Winnie, there are no perfect husbands on earth. And this one you're getting married to is not perfect. So if you are looking for a perfect husband, please run for your life now because he's not. He's not. Albert, if you are looking for a perfect woman, perfect like perfect, may I disappoint you that Winnie is not that woman. So, you may want to consider continuing with the search. Yeah, I mean it. You know, they are looking at me, Reverend, they are looking at me like they are not believing me. Okay, just turn, Kidoko Ivi, just turn, just turn, like that, turn again, again and face that congregation. Let me demonstrate this so that you will not forget. Waze wangapi wako hapa wameoa? Kama uko hapa na umeoa inua mkono wako tu. Okay? Aendelea kuinua mkono wako tu hivyo. Niulize swali la pili. Kama wewe unasema tangu uoe uye mama hata pengine umekaa naye hapo. Hachawai kukusumbua, hachawai kukosea, amekuwa tu kama angel. Tafadhali endelea kuinua mkono wako juu. Ah, kuna mmoja hapo. Ah, ah, ame, m, aya, umeanguka. Ah, ah, even pastors, your hands are down. Ah, ah. Albert, this is very serious. Imagine how our, our mama wanted to, including your mother here. Adamae sumbua mze. Amewai mkosea, amewai mkasirikia. You understand? So they are not perfect. Okay. Maybe waze, wa mama tundio wana sumbua. Let me ask the ladies, if you are here, you are married, please lift up your hand. If you are married, lady, lift up your hand. Continue lifting up your hand. I know you married the man of your dreams. Hey, huyo jamaa. Kama unasema hajawai kukosea, hajawai kusumbua, hajawai kusahau bade yako, hajawai kusahau kununua sukari, tafadhali endelea kuinua mkono wako juu. And all the hands were down, including Pastor Juliet. <laughs> now, this is the point I want to make for all of us also here. When you get committed to a mission, it does not matter whether some things don't work out the way you wanted them to be. You must commit yourself and say, I will persevere. And that's why I say love perseveres. Sasa unaona wini kumbe wazee wanasahau wanasumbua wana vitu na sie kwamba wanatenda dhambi lakini tu vitu vidogo vidogo zinaweza kufanya ukakasirika huyu wako pia ata join to company yetu na fadhali turn pole pole mniangalie tena nimalize the point i am making this and all of us here let us get committed to our marriages. Let's settle issues. If there are issues, let's talk with one another. Things, you may actually differ on one or two things. The first thing I always say as a couple, start by talking about it yourself. 
Wasema na kitoko kuna sema nakimbia pest kapo. Kwani hawa pest kapo ndio hawana miziko yao. Yo na pen, eh hey, my parents, unaona parents wako, wao wako na miziko yao. Hata sasa hii wamefurahi kwa sababu unawaondokea, umepunguza miziko. Sasa tena utaanza kurudisha miziko huko ati tumekosana. Kwani nani hawakosani kwa nyumba? Tusungumze kwa upendo, kwa mshikamano kwa azimio la kuwa pamoja with that commitment and by the mercies of God by the goodness of God marriage will work finally ladies and gentlemen i'm getting excited here finally i said i'll say two three things the third thing marriage is a covenant it's not a contract we are not here to sign contract papers on that table we are signing a covenant here that we do is for government the two marriages happening here yes the covenant before god will happen here this one here is very permanent the one on that table is government you know the government allows people to divorce but you know that one we are just doing to fulfill all righteousness on that table marriage is happening here Eh, eh, your marriage is happening here, Albert. The one we do here is permanent. The Bible said, a woman should not be separated from her husband. But just in case, then you have chosen to live like that forever or be reconciled. And a man should not divorce her, his wife. Let us take it. We are living in a world where marriage where divorce has become so rampant. Including some of the weddings we join in church and I can tell you for free young men and women who are here. It's painful for pastors when we realize when we get to a point and realize we are wedding you like now witnesses before God as servants of God. Then 3 years, 4 years down the line you're saying Ati, ati, we, we had irreconcilable differences. Surely. If you take it seriously and love one another day by day, you will never meet irreconcilable differences. Irreconcilable differences come when you begin hiding some things. When you start to not talking about things. When you stop praying together. When you stop searching the scriptures and see what God expects of you. Then within four years, five years down the line, you get to a point where you have irreconcilable differences. But if you are able to sort out your issues on a daily basis, there is never a time where you get to a point and say, we have made irreconcilable differences. May the Lord help you. May the Lord help us. That when we come before God, let us know that marriage is a covenant sealed by the blood of the lord sealed by the word of the vows that we take here we are committing ourselves for better for worse till death do us part and those of us who are here and have a habit of interfering in other people's marriages please stop it because you are interfering in a covenant and only death is allowed to separate people who are married in the ways of god so if you are interfering in a marriage you can actually be called death yani wewe na mauti mko sawa ni vile tu mauti ah ah umesikia bwana asifiwe tafadhali najua wengine wananifuata online ukiona tu mtu ameolewa ama ameoa please ni moto wa kuotea mbali kwa sababu sio tu bibi yake unakosea ama mume wake unakosea hata Mungu unamkosea. Kwa sababu leo Mungu yuko hapa kama shuhuda. Kama mshuhuda kwa hii ndoa. Sasa ukiingilia hii ndoa hata Mungu umemkosea. Marriage is a covenant. Let me finish it at that point. It's a choice, it's a commitment, it's a covenant. He's a mtasahau. Hallelujah. Let's give God a shout of praise. Let's give a hand clap to the Lord in the because the Lord Amen. Nitaendelea na hii sermon wakati mwingine. For now, may the Lord help each and every one of us. 
my prayer for all of you who are here and they are married, let me just make a prayer for all of us here and trusting God for marriage, that God will keep you focused to the choice you made. God will make you committed to the choice you made. God will make you fulfill the covenant by the vows you made before God. Father, we thank you for the institution of marriage. And Lord, we pray that God, you who is the author of marriage, will continue, Lord, to sustain our marriages. Father, we know that God, there are times when you go through different challenges in life, but I pray that God, no challenge will overwhelm any one of us that has come before you in holy matrimony. And Father, we pray that God, may your power be at work in our lives, even as husbands and wives. We bless you and we honor you in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Now, the long-awaited time has come. Actually, Kiruyo had wanted his wedding to end at a quarter past noon, and that hour has now come, so I don't know whether we should stop or proceed. What do you think? Okay, he said we proceed. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are gathered here together in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together this man, Albert Kiprotich Kirui, and this woman, Winnie Chepto Rob, in holy matrimony, which is commended of St. Paul to be honorable among all men. Therefore, this matrimony should not be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but should be entered into reverently, discreetly, advisedly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons, Albert and Winnie, now come to be joined together. If any man or any woman can show just cause why they may not be lawful, be joined together. Let him or her now speak, or else thereafter forever hold his or her peace. Is there any man, no, any woman, that wants to claim Albert and say, Albert is my husband? He should not get married. Albert going three. Albert going two. Albert gone. Amen. Amen. Anyone who wants to lay claim on Winnie, say, Winnie is my wife. And she not be married today to Albert. And you have a court order from the High Court of the Republic of Kenya to stop me from proceeding with this marriage, please now present yourself. Winnie going three. Winnie going two. Winnie gone. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Now, Albert and Winnie, you may now turn and face each other. Albert and Winnie, I now require and charge both of you as you will account before the Lord at that dreadful day of judgment when the secrets of all hands shall be disclosed that if either of you know any impediment why you may not be lawfully joined together in matrimony, you do now confess it. For be well assured that if any persons are joined together, otherwise ad, than as God's word allows, their marriage is not lawful. Albert, is there any reason that prevents you from getting married to this woman Winnie Chepto. Can I have the mic on? 
amesema no there is none mpikie makofi jameni media team tafadhali hakikisha hizi mics nafanya thank you chest test pastor right wini maybe out of all these things i have said here ati wazee wanasumbua oh nini na nini maybe you want to change your mind and uh, or maybe last night in a dream god spoke to you and you're saying pastor i have thought otherwise now this is your last opportunity to run if you want to change your mind you want to change your mind or you want to get married to albert kipro teach i don't want to change my mind i want to be married to albert oh yeah she wants to be married to albert media team we still not hearing i don't know whether it's only me please let's sort out these mics thank you very much amesema anataka kuolewa hallelujah all right kama mko tayari sasa angalia huyu ndio anataka kuolewa na wewe si mimi muangalie yeye bwana sipe sana hallelujah and as albert anaanza kuniangalia mimi bwana sasa huyu ndio anakutaka Albert Kipro teach Kirui. Yeah. Will you how this woman Winnie Chipto Rob to be your wedded wife to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony will you love Winnie will you comfort Winnie Will you honor Winnie? Will you keep Winnie in sickness and in health? Yes, I will. And shall you? Unajua ameenda haraka sana. Kuna swali bado naendelea kuuliza. And shall you Albert Kipro teach Kirui forsake all others and keep yourself only for winnie chapter rob as long as both of you shall live yes i will amen 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 you know amenda haraka sana ndio niona sasa amesema masa yake ya kuoa imeisha anataka tumalize haraka bwana sifi sana so thank you very much let's appreciate kirui thank you very much uh keep pro teach winnie chapter rob will you have this man albert kiprotich kirui to be your wedded husband to live together after god's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony will you submit to albert will you serve albert will you love albert will you honor and keep albert in sickness and in health and shall you winni chapter rob forsake all others and keep yourself only for albert keep pro teach kirui as both of us both of you shall live if that's your desire say i do Amen 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 Wonderful Sasa huyu msichana ako ready kuolewa nani wanampeana Who is handing over this girl to be married or this woman to be married to this man Ah karibu Please come over there Albert's parents also just come and stand here Sasa mimi nataka mchukue mkono wake wa kulia mshike mkono wake wa kulia hapo Okay Right Okay aya pole pole hapo mpeane shika hapo tingiza kabisa Asimio la ndoa sasa ndio hilo Asante wazazi mnaweza kuketi na nyinyi basi mkisalimiane tu hivyo move hapa lakini achilia tu kidogo tu alafu uhakikishe ni yeye kwa sababu ile unataka kufanya hapa ukisema kwisha maneno just confirm she's the one 
Then we proceed. Pole pole tu hapo naenda pole pole. Eh. Basta hapo naenda nga tu pole pole. Eh pole pole. Ni yeye? Like really? All right. Bas let's proceed now. Please salimiane vile mlikuwa mmepeana. Bas. Please give him the mic. I, Albert Kiprotiskiri, take you, uh, Winnie Cheptoro, to be my lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, in riches and in poverty, standing with you in trials, rejoicing with you in victories to have, to love, and to cherish, till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance, and, and there too, I give you my vows. Amen. Amen. Let's appreciate. Amen. Toro, take you, Albert Kiprotich Kirui, to be my lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better for us, in riches and in poverty, standing with you in trials, rejoicing with you in victories in sickness and in health to love to cherish and to submit till death do us part according to God's holy ordinance and there too I give you my vow Amen, 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 Amen Wonderful, Wonderful Wow Yaani unaona umeona mtu akilia na ana smile. Hallelujah. Amen. It's wonderful. Yana iwe hivyo. Hallelujah. Imagine now you are married. Yes. That vow you've made seals your marriage. So right now just in case anything happens. Na tunatawanyika pengine fire whatever it is. Enda na wako. Binguni, the seal is given. Hallelujah. <laughs> but nevertheless, because we are still here, let's continue to finish off with the ile marembesho na matoito tunaongeze anga. Bwana sifiwe. Do you have any rings to seal these vows you have um, shared? All right. They are chaining mine. Mine has been here for 22 years, so no wonder it's looking very old. Wedding rings serve as an outward and visible sign of an inward and invisible love which binds hearts together. As they are of us finest materials, so love is the riches of all spiritual values. As rings are without age or seam, having no beginning and no ending. So they symbolize the perfection of a love that cannot end. As you share these rings today, Albert and Winnie, may they always remind you of the love you share. Albert, May this ring always remind you this one 
woman, one and only one, who loves you. You must love her. Winnie, this ring, may it remind you all the time that this one man who loves you, you must love him irrespective of the circumstances. Father, we thank you for these rings. And I pray, Heavenly Father, that God and this couple exchange them. May they, Lord, always be a reminder of the love they share. May they, Lord, bind their hearts together. May they bind their minds together. May they bind their resolutions and everything they do together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, Albert, I am sure it is you who started these things. Once a two, Chukwele Ambayo, Ikona Jina Yako. Okay, Ikona Jina Yako. Right. Now, allow me also to say at this point, as we exchange these rings, that uh, they are also exchanging signatures. Signatures to their accounts, signatures to their property. So today, as you give that ring to Winnie, when he becomes officially your next of kin. Yes. It's serious. Winnie, as you'll be taking this ring that bears your name to give it to Albert, you are signing off. He is your next of kin. This is important because as a pastor, is if he took off. Watu wamewana miaka kumi na next of kin bado ni mama yake. Eh, wacha your story. Okay, let's proceed. Let me not start a sermon, another sermon. Okay, please put, put that. Yes, you can just put. As a pledge. As a pledge. And in token of the vows. And in token of the vows. Made between us. Made between us. With this ring. I declare. That you are the wife of my choice. In the name of the Father. Of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, Winnie. Hata we mpati ya chisikia vile unachisikia. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> it's a very exciting couple. Wonderful, yeah. wonderful. Say, yeah, say as a pledge. As a pledge. And in token of the vows made between us with this ring, I declare you're the husband of my choice, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Papa, wame kuonyeja bilo unafanya. Amen. Hallelujah. Wonderful. Weka uye jamaa nataka kuchukua kamera vile mnachifunia. Amen. You see? Hata mini weke yangu nize. <laughs> Hallelujah. We now want to pray for you. God is the author of marriage. God is the one who will sustain you in marriage. That's why we want to pray for you. I'll ask therefore that you kneel on this altar. I request all pastors who are just to come and stand between and uh, behind here. All pastors, please come. I want you to stretch your hands over them and just pastors throw. Please, all the pastors, just come. And stretch your hands and just, just stretch your hands. Yes, that's all over them. Because, yeah, we are many. Baraka ziko mingi, ziko tele. Just stretch your hands. Don't lay hands on them. Just stretch your hands over them. Hallelujah. May I request the entire congregation just stand, just stand where you are. Just stretch your hand towards this couple. 
begin to declare the blessings of God over their life. Just, just go ahead, just go ahead. Just go ahead, just go ahead. We are in a moment of prayer. There's a desire you have already desired for all, but make it a prayer item this day. This is something you have desired for Winnie. Just make it a prayer before God. God is hearing our prayers. Parents, just commit, just, just declare your blessings over this, your children. May the Lord hear our cry. May the Lord hear our prayer for them. In the name of Jesus Christ, just declare that God will be with them. God will sustain them. God will hold them together. That this marriage will work and work well. God will give them grand, great joy great success in everything they do as a family. Just continue to pray. Let's pray that God shall be glorified in every day in the lives of this couple. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You break every yoke of darkness. Break anything that will come to interfere. They may want to come to interfere in their marriage. Break it in the name of Jesus Christ. Every, everything of the enemy is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. May no curse find itself in this marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ. May no pain be found in this marriage. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Blessed be your holy name, Lord. Blessed be your holy name, Father. Oh, God. Father, we bless you. And we honor you. Oh, God of love. You have established marriage for the welfare and happiness of mankind. You as was the plan and only with you can you work it out with joy. Lord, you have said, it's not good for a man to be alone. I'll make a help meet for him. Now our joys are double since the happiness of one is the happiness of the other. Our burdens now are harmed when we share them because we defy the Lord. Father, we pray for Albert. The Lord, you bless him as a provider of nourishment and raiment and sustain him in all the exertions and pressure of his battle to provide for his family. Father, we pray that God may his strength be witness protection. May his character be witness boast and pride. And may Albert so live that we will find in him the heaven for which the heart of a woman truly longs. Father, we pray for Winnie. The Lord will give her tenderness that will make her great. A deep sense of understanding and a great faith in you. Lord, give Winnie that inner beauty of soul that never fades. That eternal youth that is found in holding fast the things that never age. Father, we pray for them together as a couple. Lord, teach them that marriage is not living merely for each other. It is to uniting and joining hands to serve you. Lord, we pray that you give them a great spiritual purpose in life. May they, Lord, seek first your kingdom and your righteousness. Then that all other things may be added unto them, O oh God. Father, we pray that may they not expect that perfection of each other that belongs alone to you. May they minimize each other's weakness. May they be swift to praise and magnify each other's point of calmness and strength. And see each other through a lover's kind and patient eyes. And now we pray that God, you may make such assignments to them. Or the scroll of your will. And you will bless them and develop their characters as they walk together. Give them enough tears to keep them tender. Enough hands to keep them you men. Enough of failure to keep their hands clenched tightly in yours. And enough success to make sure they walk with you. May they never take each other's love for granted. But always experience that breathless wonder that exclaims that out of this world you have chosen me. And now Lord, we pray. That when life is done and sun is setting, 
May they be found then as now, hand in hand, still thanking you for each other. May they serve you happily. May they serve you faithfully. May they serve you together until at last one shall lay the other into your arms, O oh God. This is our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And the church said, Amen, and Amen, and Amen. Ngoja kwanza, msisimame kwanza, sicha maliza na nyinyi. Hallelujah. The Bible says, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. And as much as Albert and Winnie have come before us and before God, and having exchanged vows, and having exchanged rings, and now as they hold their hands together on this altar, I now want to declare them husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen and amen. Let's celebrate them. Let's celebrate them. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Now you can stand. Amen. Thank you, pastors. You can take your seats. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wonderful. Pastor Albert Kiprotich. Kirui. Behold your wife. Amen, 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 amen. Oh, at Mivanya Nini? Afro Cinema continues shortly. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much. We appreciate them. In a little while, we'll be asking the MC to come and make some uh, um, announcements. And then um, for now, we want to do the signing of the certificate. And then uh, at that point, I don't know whether I have a special or something from the media. Is a special? Bye. Oh, you're ready? Proceed. Thank you. Let's sign the certificate now. Because you made 
ceremony you should be up there tell us what you need to do because uh, before I make the final announcement yes. quick one did I see Pastor George Murichi somewhere oh yeah please I'll be asking you to kindly come and uh, say the final prayer as we leave so kindly thank you that's our deputy senior pastor here at Sitam Woodley. I hear some of you came after I had introduced myself. I'm Reverend Robin Mulunda, Senior Pastor Sitam Embakasi. Thank you. Praise God once more. Are you guys excited to be here? Harusi tunayo hatuna. Harusi tunayo hatuna. I see some people there who maybe don't understand Swahili. How do we say that in English? Wedding we have, we have not. Wedding we have, we have not. Yes, yeah, such a beautiful thing and we just want to celebrate love. Why don't you join me in celebrating this beautiful couple sitting in front of us? A better shout, better shout, better shout, better shout. Yes. I'm looking at Albert and I feel he's an inch or two taller, isn't it? Look at it. I think he's so happy to be here and we're happy that you allowed us to just celebrate this day with you. We celebrate you and we also love you as well. Uh, we want to also appreciate uh, our reverend, Mulunda, for uh, officiating and leading us so well. Uh, we do appreciate that. Um, and I think, Pastor, there's that uh, verse that you read. And I think going forward, that's what we should be reading during weddings. Sindio? Uh, so I think it should be somewhere in the constitution of weddings that that has to be there. So we appreciate that, Pastor. We also want to appreciate the Sitam family, Sitam Woodley family, for uh, hosting us and allowing us to have this wedding here. To be honest, it's a good thing. Why don't you help me also to appreciate uh, the Sitam Woodley family? Uh, pass our regards, of course, to Reverend uh, Mahugu, as well as uh, our Deputy Senior Pastor, uh, Murichu, for uh, allowing us to use uh, this space and for allowing us to have this ceremony here. So just very quickly, um, I want to make some announcements. The first one is that uh, automatically after here, see to make a silly wedding, Cindy. 
lakini lazima tuiweke vizuri pande mwingine isn't it so we'll be going for the reception on the other side uh, that at the epicenter and uh, that's where we are going to have the reception and everything else happening there we request that uh, the couple is going to exit first and they're going to exit through the door on the right where we have an ark that is mounted there then everybody else will exit through this other door on my left as we head towards the epicenter again as you go that way you're going to find the washrooms where you can actually you can um, uh, you know uh, help yourself and then as we approach the epicenter from the front door the main door not this door that's here there's another bigger door at the back there please uh, follow that and then immediately after the couple exits you're going to have a photo session right out there in, uh, where the ark is and in the interest of time you're going to allow me to just uh, specify that probably not everybody will have a chance to take a photo now uh, we are going to have a photo for the clergy a photo for the family starting with the parents and uh, uh, anybody else representing the family and of course you're just going to have a photo for uh, Albert and Cherub's colleagues uh, there then everybody else in case you want a photo opportunity that's going to happen after the wedding see you on Isawa Yes, so uh, uh, as we exit, we are not going to crowd. We're just going to go proceed all the way to the epicenter as we leave the couple there um, uh, having their, their photo session. Uh, I think uh, that is it for now, Pastor. Thank you. Thank yes, you very much. Uh, those of us who are new here, the epicenter is actually the building just behind this tent. So just in case you are looking for it, so I think it's written from the other side. Thank you. Is that so? Thank you very much. Um, all right, friend, now, 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 now. Eh, nasikia ukinunua gari, na pewanga kakitu kana itua lockbook. Eh, ukinunua shaba, na pewa kitu na itua title deed. Eh, uki, uki pata bibi. <laughs> uki pata mme. Unapewa kitu inaitua certificate of marriage. This is to officially certify you as a wife. Welcome to the wives club. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm welcome. And you are now being welcomed into the husband's club. <laughs> so on behalf of the registrar of weddings or marriages in the Republic of Kenya, on behalf of Christ the Answer Ministries, and on my own behalf, I want to um, hand over this certificate to you, certificate number 324348, yours for the keeping. As they do so, Reverend can come and make the final prayer before I, I announce the shaking announcements. It, yes, thank you. Yes. Yeah? Oh, you are learning. Uh, okay. Weka tu vile mna weka ato kiweka kwa socks. Weka wapi ni sawa. Umeweka wapi? Apo. Albert. Yani umezimama tu? Akafungua koti, anaingia ndani. Na iwe hivyo. Hata pesa mfungu wange tu, akichukua. Amen. Please pray, Pastor, as I Amen. announce. Amen, amen. Congregation, let's appreciate Reverend Mulunda for leading us so, so well, officiating this uh, ceremony. And on behalf of uh, our senior pastor, Reverend Juliet Mahugu, the leadership of Woodley, the entire Sita Woodley family, let's congratulate this couple. Don't they look amazing? And so we're just going to pray together, invite us to stand as we agree together in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for what you have done today. For your word says that you are the one who brings two people together. Lord, we thank you for our pastor. We thank you that he has found favor. For he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. We thank you for a wedding service full of your glory. We thank you for that powerful word 
And we pray that you write it not only on their hearts, write it on our hearts as well. Lord, we thank you that they have chosen one another. And we pray that in the years ahead, in the seasons ahead, they will remain committed to one another and that this covenant will sustain their love. We thank you for what lies ahead of us. We thank you for the reception as we continue to celebrate the goodness of the Lord in this, uh, our dear one's lives. Lord, receive all the praise, receive all the glory. And so thank you, Father. Thank you for what you have done. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. And so receive our praise and receive our worship. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray Amen. and believe. Amen. 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 Now we are just about to exit. Again, as the MC said, allow the procession to go. Uh, they will go together with the pastors and the parents. Then the rest of us, this will use that door with the youth even coming in. The rest of us will use this other door or this other. So the only people using that door is the Praetor Party, the pastors, and the parents. So even if you are seated there, you can come and use the other door after they have exited. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure. About 12.50, 12.50, 12.50, 12.55 by the clock of the groom, who is now a husband, it now gives me great pleasure to introduce to you the newest couple in town. Angoja, angoja, zija maliza bwana. Ay, nyinyi mkona haraka sana. Ama sawa umetoka the city of champions, eh? No, 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 Ngoja Kidogo, the newest couple in town, Mr. and Mrs. Kipro T. Amen, amen. Now we are ready to go. We are ready to go. Wherever you lead us, we will follow. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen.